Welcome to uh, Holistic Home Office at uh, homeoffice.studio. It's a little art studio that I'm building here in uh, Seattle, Earth, and uh, I'm trying to just tell stories and teach people how to tell stories, be an artist, make a decent living working in your own home office. That's the, that's the plan. Hi, good morning. I'm working on my website again. Um, here's my, uh, you know, my desktop. I'm working on, I got uh, this set on Kitty, you know, and I can use that. There's Vim and there's Z Shell. And uh, so I wanted to switch over to here and click on this and that gets me back over to this. I want to do a, a little blog post about WordPress because I've been using it a lot. I lost my job because I injured my back and just I couldn't handle packing around batteries and brake drums and everything like that. So I've been working on my website a lot. Hopefully I can make some profit. I wish I could do this full time, but we'll see. So anyway, WordPress it's turned out to be a pretty good deal. I like it. It's uh, I've been using it. I was using. I was trying to do Drupal before, and I was tr what I was trying to do is set up a local development environment. I've still never been able to do that yet. Yeah, you know, I've gotten really close. I mean, I'm like right on the edge of being able to do that. But for now, I'm just using WordPress on the Bluehost system, and I definitely recommend you know Bluehost you know because I've, I've been using them for years and anytime I've ever had any issue I call them up I I contact them usually by internet and uh, you know they solved the problem whatever the problem was they solved it pretty fast you know sometimes the problem is not word Bluehost it's uh, the theme that you install you know because I installed a theme in there this, by the way, this is my, I've, I've been using this new uh, browser called, uh, what is that called? It's called uh, Vivaldi, and I really like it. And, you know, I don't know if I'm always going to use it, but I've been using it for a week or so now, and I really like it, you know. So, anyway, so if I go over here, this is the, the editor. This is called the Gutenberg Editor. And you can move these by clicking right here. You can move a paragraph or you could just, you could like say, get this whole section. You know, usually you kind of, you could get this whole section. And you can get several sections and you can move them up and down with these two buttons right here. One of the things I've learned just recently is about these little, you have to put spaces in here. You know, you can't just like click and, and get a space. You know, these spaces are, uh, you know, you have to uh, like get them like this and you set it up and you make your little, uh, you know, you, you go in here, like say you go in here and you click on this and it gives you this option right here and you can create. And see, I got this A spacer, and the way I did that is I went in here like this, and I click on reusable, and when you click on reusable, you can click manage reusable blocks, and that way you can make a, a custom one like this one right here. I made that, and it's a certain width, you know, it's a certain height, I guess you'd say, and um, which makes it... Uh, and you have all these options, you know, me images for pictures, video for, you can post your videos, all this stuff that can, you know, you can put on here. Different widgets, themes, you know, and I haven't really done a lot with most of this. There's the main thing I do, you know, is creating content is I write and I put these little, spacers in here and they're all the same and one of the things I found out about that you know it wouldn't be a big deal except I found out if you like delete one you do delete them all not just in that story but in the whole entire website 
So it's like, you got to be careful about that because I had to go through and get rid of the old one and put a new one in for each one individually. And I didn't get every single one because I don't know what the difference was, but a small percentage of it didn't get rid of. It just got rid of the vast majority. And I had to go through and I had to delete it. And when you delete it, this little thing right here will come up and it'll have two squares kind of overlapping each other. And you would click on that and that would make the old empty space go away, which makes it possible for you to put a new spacer in there. You know, and you put the new spacer in there and, you know, and I had to do that each individually. But the good thing is, is that they're all the same width, you know, except for the ones I didn't do, the few that I didn't do, you know, that are just the old style. They're, some of them are slightly bigger or smaller or whatever. But the vast majority of the space, you know, that divides this space right here is, uh, they're all identical, they're copies. The bad thing is if I need to delete one, I haven't figured out how to do that. I'm thinking there's a way to do it, but at this point, I just don't even want to take a chance because I don't want to delete all the spacers in the whole website. You know, and you just you write and, uh, you know, and you get your, I got what I'm doing right, you know, you, this is a, a screenshot, which is one way to get some art on there, you know, and there's other ways, you know, you can get back over here, and here's your, you know, this is something down on website, way back at the back end of the website, you know, and uh, so it, WordPress actually works pretty good, you know, it's, I still want to build my own local development environment where I build the, the website on my computer and then use SSH to push it up to the website, to the live website. And that's, your, that's how you do it. That's the, the, per, the pro way to build websites. This way is, uh, it's, you know, this is a good way to start. I totally get when get on here and get start building your WordPress website as fast as possible. The sooner you get started, the better. Don't wait for anything else. Just get your website started and start working on it because that's what you got to do is learn. And that's how you learn. You read books, you know, read the manual, you know, get yourself some books about it and, and read those. And what I'm trying to do here is just help out as much as I can, give you a little clean, watch out for those uh, spacers, man. Don't delete them, because then you'll end up having to go back through all your stories and put them back in there one at a time. And there may be, there's probably a way that you could put them back all at once, because there was these, you know, I put like a, a thing in there with the plus sign and there's probably a way that you can get that to work all at once but I don't, I don't know how to do that yet so I had to put them back one at a time and so I got that done today I got most of the stories pretty good but then I noticed there's some that have these huge sections that's the other thing I'm, I'm kind of getting to this point where I write these big long stories and then I start dividing them up in sections I make the sections and put in a title, you know, for section title, a heading. And, um, and then I start moving paragraphs around and get all the paragraphs re related to each heading under that heading. And then I rearrange them in there and I delete some because I duplicate, you know, I tell, say, say the same thing over and over again. And I get that, the stories get a lot better by doing it like that. That's the way I do it. It's probably not the most efficient way, but that's the way I've been doing it. And then uh, I, I kind of, now that I kind of saw that pattern, I, I kind of see that I need to go back through them again. And those, because those huge, I got a bunch of stories with re really huge sections that could be broken up into smaller sections and reorganized even further which I believe would help my search engine optimization 
which uh, the way you do search engine optimization is, let's get back over here to WordPress, is, uh, you know, you want to work on that. Mine is not good. I see these things right here, these little, these are the spacers. When you're, when you had those old, those ones that were blocking everything, where it deleted the spacers, when I deleted one spacer, it deleted all, it had this little thing like this with the little plus sign right there. And when I clicked on it, it brought up one of these, and one of one of these little sections had uh, two squares, overlapping squares. And I clicked on that, and it just got rid of that particular spacer. And then I could put this new one in there. And that was a tedious problem I had to do. But anyway, so I got this one done pretty good. So if you go over here and click on this, it brings this up. And, and this, you put it on page and you have all this. One of the main things you get, what you want to do is make sure you get this all done right. So that when you go over here and you're looking at this, it's you know, this is all correct. See, this is the website section, the content management section, and then the WordPress story. You know, the last piece is the name of the story, and this is the name of the, because I kind of got it in, I don't know if I'm going over, you know, because they say three tiers. You don't want to go more than three tiers. And I'm, I'm not sure if this counts as three, three or four, because you got, this is number one, in my opinion, this is number, this is the first tier. And then the second tier is these stories right here. And then the third tier is these stories over here. These are the actual stories. But I could be misunderstanding because it could be that homeoffice.space is the first tier. And this is actually the second tier. And then which would make the, these the third tier and these the fourth tier. So I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm working on my search engine optimization, I think is not very good. I, I need to work on improving it, and I'm, I, I am. So, but as right now, I have the stories, they're in pretty good shape. You know, I mean, there's definitely, like these ones back here is the ones that were, let's say, financial statements that had these huge sections. Uh, this one isn't too bad. You know, because you want these sections to be, you know, you want short little segments. People say, you know, if you want to get reach a, a young audience these days, you have to write short, short and sweet. You know, well, you know, I write, my, I, my started out, my strategy was writing. And so I write these big long stories because I figure reading is the what I do. I like reading, and so that's why I think everybody likes reading. But that's not necessarily the case. Um, when I was going to go over here and show you something else, another thing you can do is go down here to the bottom and look at this and make sure you get this all set up right. Like for example, there's something I can fix right there. Just put one of these in there. So when, when it comes up on the, you know, search, this is what's going to come up. It's going to look like this. And then I press update. But the, the main thing you want to do is click on this and this and, the, you know, and learn how to do all this stuff. Let, let uh, Yoast, the one I'm using is Yoast. The one that Bluehost recommended was called All-in-One SEO. And then I, I used that one for a while and it was working okay on it. You know, and I just, for some reason, well, what happened was is I got a bill from some company that I used a long time ago. And, uh, you know, they took money out of my bank account and I wasn't expecting it and it kind of bothered me. And so I got rid of all my plugins, you know, because I didn't want that to happen again. You know, and you click on this. 
Uh, I guess you can't click on that one, but you can click on this one. And it will teach you, you know, and just, you know, let this teach you how to write stories that are optimized for the search engines. You know, as you can see, I've got a long ways to go. This should be green. You know, I want these to be green as much as possible. Even though I'm really more interested in talking to the audience than I am talking to the search engines. But, I, I, you know, you got to do what practical, be practical. And so I'm working on that, and that's one thing I'm working on. And then, uh, what was the ones? I know there was a bunch of, uh, um, not, let's try this one. There was one that had some really super long, uh, no, this one's not bad. Maybe it was in computer. I think it might have been in computer. Yeah, that could be broken up. Huh? Anyway, you know, you want to, you know, have a little, uh, lots of titles. And one of the things I've noticed is, is that I like to, uh, I'll write these big long stories with a whole bunch of text in it. And then I, after I've edited and polished them over and over again, I, end, I start putting headings in there, you know, breaking it up into sections. And then I'll move paragraphs back and forth and get them all kind of organized. And it becomes a lot better. It gets better and better every time. You know, and you just keep working on it. And, uh, you know, and I've got all these stories pretty much ready to go. The website's ready to go. I got the book published. It's available right here. And I appreciate anybody that would click on that link and buy it. Or you can also buy it at Barnes and Nobles and, and Amazon. And, you know, it's available. And uh, you can donate, you know, because uh, my bills are somewhere around $2,000 a month. I've got to figure out, and I have got, I've gotten zero income from this website so far. And I'm kind of hoping at some point it does start to make that money. I have sold a couple of books, but it was kind of, you know, and the book and the website have always intended to go together. And it's kind of a, I've got a lot of work to do on this website. It's still in an early primitive stage. These stories can all be approved. This, this, you know, because it's such a big deal moving things around, because you got to get everything lined up, get these names, you know, corrected, you know, right, get everything right. And I pretty much have everything set up. The stories still need to be worked on. Some of them need more, you know, I've been putting pictures and videos in there, and uh, I put mostly my pictures in there, but sometimes I, I put, I get pictures off of Pexel and put in here because, just because they match the subject matter better. And, you know, because I take pictures of Seattle and, you know, trees and, you know, stuff like that. And it doesn't really go, you know, it doesn't really, it's pretty. You know, that's what I, the reason I put it in here because it's neat and pretty. It makes the cut more attractive, the website more attractive. And I, I, I figure all of my content is going to be under the Creative Commons 4.0 license because, you know, that's just the best way to do it, I think, at least for now. And, uh, People can download those pictures and use them any way they want to. I, would, I just wish they would give me credit and a link, you know, saying I got this this picture from this website. And that way, you know, I, I kind of start getting some traffic coming my way. And, uh, and I'm just mainly, I'm going to focus on the holistic home office. You know, how to make money and you're working at home and you're on your computer and building business stuff online you know and it, it kind of i'm thinking it should you know uh 
fit in with what's been going on, you know, with the whole coronavirus, everybody kind of, the whole economy has just been knocked off. It's, you know, it's, so it should be, there should be a lot of people are sitting around looking for things to do. And so, and what I'm trying to do is teach you how to use your computer. And, and you know, it's also, I've always thought this was a, kind of a, it's recovery oriented, you know, for poor homeless people like me, you know, and help them. Look, you gotta work. You know, this is not a get rich quick, quick scheme. This is a work hard scheme. You know, you work hard, you study. You got to study, you know, if you're not interested, if you don't like to read and you don't like to study and all that, and you're not interested in that, then th this might not be a good thing for you. But if you don't, if you do like to read, if you're willing to read and study and learn, then there is a very high performance, a very advanced education contained within this website already. It still has, like I said, it, it definitely needs improvement. I can work on improving these stories, and I will be working on improving the stories that I already have. And I'll also be adding new stories. You know, as I learn more and I practice and I get better, I figure out, oh, look at this, you know, because I'm using WordPress, you know. Another thing I'm using is GIMP, you know. I've been using this a lot and figuring out how to... Uh, you know, edit pictures in here. I can, uh, I edit my pictures. I bring pictures in here. I go over here and I open, you know, let's say, well, let's open this one right here. This is an old one that I've already used. See, I, when I, when I, when I do everything, I, this is how I save them with the, I just put this in there like that, that two. And that way I know which one is the new one and which one is the old one. But we'll open this one just to kind of look at it and get an example. Here's my little background. I, it, was, it was totally an accident that that happened. Oh my God, you're gonna be kidding me. Okay, so somebody trying to call me. Anyway, uh, there was totally an accident that that was back there. I, in in the background, like it is, I'm going. And when I saw that, I go, "Hey, wow, that's cool." Anyway, so anyway, you know, you know, and it's about reading books, you know, and reading. I read a lot, and I recommend that you read a lot. You know, watching videos is good. I I, I like watching videos as much as anybody. It's easier and everything, but I read. And that and that, and that's education enables me to improve myself. It's it's a way of improving myself. I keep working on myself, uh, and it's all different kind. You know, this part over here is the computer stuff. This is a lot of business stuff. You know, this is a bunch of natural health care stuff. This is all a bunch of kind of social and historical. You know, you know John Adams, and the, here's the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. You know, there's a whole book about the Constitution, and the Federalist Papers are in there, and uh, you know, and then up here is all a bunch of spiritual stuff. Here's all the Baha'i writings. Here's the Bible and the Quran, and a bunch of other little stuff about Druids and stuff. You know, because those are my ancestors were the Druids. You know, so I'm kind of curious about their stuff and, and uh, what they were thinking and teaching. Here's my little Kuchina doll that I got at the rodeo in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's just kind of a thing, you know, I don't know. And my flag and my chess set. You know, I like chess. I haven't played chess in a long time, but it's cool, you know. So anyway, Get your office set up so it's comfortable, you know, the way you like it. I'm an American patriot. I like the United States. I like the United Nations too, man. So, and, you know, the people, some people get mad at me because I like the United States. And other people get mad at me because I like the United Nations. So everybody's mad at me, and I guess I don't want that. I don't wish that. I, but I'm a globalist, and I'm a nationalist and a globalist. That's just so, I, I've always been like that. 
you know, even before I even thought about nationalist or, and globalist, you know, I, I'm, that's what I, I'm, that's been my philosophy for my whole life, is one world. You know, I always thought, you know, the space development stuff, you know, it had to be na international, it had to be global, not, you know, one nation, it's all nations working together and working our way up into, into a space-faring civilization, you know, building a space-faring civilization. And we, you know, and we're going to be building a sustainable civilization at the same time as we're building a space-faring civilization. So anyway, the first thing I do when I get in here is I go, what do I do? Is it tools, I think? Transform tools. You got crop, you got perspective, and in the perspective, it's, and you also got rotate. So you got all these tools here, you know, and it's, you know, the perspective one on this is kind of different, you know, because on raw therapy, you got a little slider that you slide over here on the side. On this one, you, or at least this is the best way I figured out how to do it, take this and go like this to get those trees to stand up straight. Oh, I forgot. You, I, never mind. I got to get rid of this. You always have to start on the top right like this. Transform perspective. Huh? Let's see, how did I do that? There was a way to get a hold of that. Let's get rid of this. Because you can't move that out of the way. The only thing I'm gonna you're gonna have to do, I think, is uh is move this picture. No. Oh, because I got that. Let's get rid of that. Let's close it. say we'll put that on five and put it all the way to the top so five all the way to the top and then you can also do this because the reason why I make it taller is because Anytime you take pictures of like skyscrapers and things like that, it always makes them look short. Have you ever noticed that? You know, because if you look at them in real life, they're like, like if you look at the Sears Tower in Chicago, it looks like a pencil standing on end. You know, when you look at it in a picture, it looks like a little stubby little thing, you know. And so I always try to make, I like, you know, and you can't really do that on raw therapy either. Or you probably can, but not just with that little slider but with this this is what you can do and it, it will make it in a lot different you know and then you see what happens if you get rid of it good okay so that's one thing i do i i get it get all that stuff fixed you could also adjust the colors you know uh, uh there's one called uh exposure you could brighten that like a dark picture you can brighten that dark picture up really well with the exposure and then the last thing i always do is i go over here and i scale the image and i use typically i'll put a 1200 in there or if i want if it's a small picture that i'm gonna put in there i'll put 400 in there or 300 and I just do the top one and then I hit enter and this little thing here that's links is kind of got them locked together. So if I push, like if I push in this one, I, I push 1200, enter, it automatically does the bottom one because they're, you know, linked. And then you press scale, which I'm not going to do. But after you get everything done the way you want it, you go down here and you export as. And I export as, I, 
it's you I usually do I, I was doing P, JPGs today you know or the other day yesterday so it's okay to use JPGs especially because once you I get it on the website it's it's not gonna the thing is, is JPGs are lossy in other words every time you export it you're gonna lose some of the data and with PNGs are lost less, which is so that doesn't happen. So I use the PNG. A lot of times I convert my pictures to PNGs first time I export them. But late, yesterday I was doing JPGs. The JPGs are a lot smaller, so they fit, you know they don't take up as much space on the computers, and and that's a good thing. So so anyway, that's uh. You know, it's uh, kind of what I've been working on lately, you know, the last few days. I got the website, all the T's crossed and I's dotted and things like that. The website, my next plan is I'm going to go out tomorrow and, you know, sell them. You know, and try to talk to people and tell them about the website. I got some books here that are kind of ones that are uh, that were not perfect you know the trial books I'm going to give those away I kind of wanted to keep them as a you know oh, here here was the first mistakes I'll probably keep at least one of them but anyway and I'll, I got five books I can give away and uh, I got a lots of business cards I can hand out and to attract people to this website and teach them teach you how to uh, be an artist, you know, uh, that's the main thing, you know, is be an artist. And, you know, this is uh, my s pretty simple, basic elementary website. You know, you can make them a lot better, but this one's mine. Like I say, it started out as a reading thing. And I like the width of these columns for reading. You know, that's about as wide as I would want them to be. It could be a sm slightly smaller, but this was a good size and then I can put other things over here and uh, you know one thing I would like to do is get it so that you could these pictures I'm going to work on getting the pictures that I put up like uh, you know something with pictures on it uh, where did I put some pictures uh, Oh, here's the here's so. See, this is some of the small pictures. But what I want to do is get some of these pictures. Get some of these pictures. And so that you can click on these pictures and download them and have good pictures that you can use for your website. That's kind of my goal. One, th one little idea that I'm working on. I haven't done anything yet on that. But as far as I know, you can do that already with these pictures. But you wouldn't be able to make them any bigger than this. Like, say, a screen, a background. You know, so if you expanded them, it would probably make them blurry. See, and I want to make background, you know, uh, what do you call that, desktop backgrounds and stuff like that. That's kind of the plan. And, and so, and you can do the same thing. Use Krita, you know, Krita, and uh, make yourself some beautiful art. You know, this is something I drew, you know, it's just practicing and uh, playing around with it and learning stuff. Uh, let's see, I can see this one here. If I went, uh, let's go see if I can find Krita. Yeah, it would be Artisan, so that's going to be all the way to the front end here. Artisan, let's find Krita. Krita, because I, I noticed, I just noticed something, see? And uh, you got to do that. See, that's... Hmm. 
That's interesting. See, there should be a gap between here. I'm not going to mess with that right now, but yeah, I don't like that. You know, it's too close. There should be a little gap there, like, uh, you know, between the picture and the text. But anyway, you know, and so you just keep working on it. You know, these are my little drawings. I like drawing, making drawings like this. They're little doodles. But, uh, you know, it's just fun. You know, I figured out how to make the thin lines. When you first start out with Krita, it's big, thick lines. But right up about here is where the you can adjust that to a 1 instead of what it, the default, which makes it these thin lines instead of real thick ones that, you know, Krita starts out with. Anyway, so that's probably enough for today. I just want to, you, you, this is a fun, you can, you know, this is just how you start. Start out by doing this. You know, and f learning the tools. You know, if you go, if we go back over here, let's let's go over here, and let's close this one, and let's open Krita. You know, you can. Uh, Play with Krita and learn how to use it. It's it's one of your most important tools, one of your most valuable tools. You go up here, right here is where you set that. I set the size and it made the lines I wanted to use, you know, a good size. See, I've already, see, it's already got the settings that I, the 1200, let's try and see what happens, yeah. See, and it brings it up. And I can, you can just draw whatever you want to. See how it's that big fat thing? It's 40 pixels. And I would just get this down to zero. It's, it was really hard. Anyway, so as you can see, I'm just barely learning how to do this myself. And that's what you got to do. You got to get in there and start using the tools. Read the manual. You can go back over here to to this page right here, and you can get on here. What do I got? Kixi. I think this is. I think this is. What is this? Rudy Fournier. Anyway, I was reading something. You know, you know, they have ones in here about uh, Krita. Krita has a really good help directory. Let's go over there and look at that. You can just go right here, click on Help, Krita Handbook, and it's going to open up to Center, which is my default browser. See, and read all this because they teach you not only about Krita but they teach you about color and painting digital painting and so you know not that much but just kind of like a beginning teaching about that so, you know uh, what's that one uh, Scribus does the same thing you know and not only does it teach you how to use Scribus but it teaches you about color and paint, you know, paper, the difference between digital art and paper art, you know, because it's about publishing books. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you know where I'm at right now. Let's get rid of this because I'm kind of done with that. This is, uh, and uh, so work hard. You got to work hard. It's, you know, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a work hard and and make uh, make something valuable and useful and uh, 
traded in the global free marketplace. There's a one worldwide free marketplace and you can trade in there and uh, use your, exercise your creative freedom. And, uh, you know, using these digital tools, they're, they're just, they're, there's, not, you know, there's the hardware and the software and it's, it's just a big lever. You know, it's a lever, and we can use it to build things that have never been existed before. It's in artificial intelligence, and we're building it. It's it's here. It's not going away. It's going to probably be here for from now on. Artificial intelligence is just part of life on Earth. And what I'm trying to teach you is how to, for you to learn how to use that and and instead of just being controlled by it because I know there's people that want to use it to control people with but that's not what I'm I'm trying to use it to liberate people you know to because you know God makes the rules that's just the rule you know that's just reality God you know I'm not I and you know and so we're building this artificial this global cloud of artificial intelligence learn how to work with it learn how to use it learn how to get really good at it be a high performance website designer and computer scientist and your your skill your your trade doesn't have to be computer science and or website design you could be doing something totally different but in learning how to do this will help you do that, whatever it is you do do, a lot better. You know, because these these are very powerful tools that you can use to do, to improve just about anything. You know, your sales and marketing, your whatever. So, read the documentation, study, read, watch videos, and uh, watch all the videos. If you want read all the stories on homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos I you will have one a, a, a very advanced entertaining education I hope it's entertaining anyway I want it to be entertaining I'm not I'm probably not that entertaining but I'll work on that I'll keep working on that and uh, figure out ways to put stuff on here that's entertaining and attractive and, and so Anyway, have fun, have a great day, have a great life, you know, and uh, keep on working on improving yourself and making the world a better place, you know, create a, help us create a sustainable human civilization on this planet, spacefaring civilization. Anyway, have fun and uh, peace be with you.